in doing my research, I uh, found a photo of hopefully you with Elvis in 1956. Talk, and you are instrumental in talking him into getting the polio vaccine. Well, I, I wasn't in the picture. I had my physicians do the who were doing the inoculation in the picture. I set the whole thing up with his manager. Oh, okay. So you're not in the photo. No. Oh wow! Well, we... I'm the one who organized the thing and got more press coverage than anything the New York City Health Department ever got in their lives. So you are that yeah. lady. That is awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, well, would you would you tell me about how you did this? How did you make this happen? We had proven the vaccine was effective. We had a press conference at the health department, and we went about inoculating all the first and second graders, and we did a very good job, but we were having problems with the teenagers. And I asked my boss, who was the health commissioner, I said, can I do anything? And she said, sure, if it's within the law. I said, well, I'm going to call Elvis Presley's manager. She says, do you know him? I said, no, but I'll try. And I called Tom Parker. I said, you don't know me, but your wonderful client has a bad reputation with the parents of teenagers, and you can rectify that and do the best good deed ever. And I, I must have talked about 100 miles an hour. And he said, let me think about it. I'll call you back. He called me back in five minutes and said, you're on. I knew that Elvis was coming to do an Ed Sullivan show. And I said, we could do the whole press conference and have our doctors inoculate him at the CBS studios. And I set the whole thing up and it worked and everybody was happy. And teenagers call, went to their doctors, got their shots, and the Polio Foundation helped pay for the reproduction of the photos and we sent the kids photos of Elvis getting his vaccination. Oh, so y'all did send the kids photos of him. Okay. All yeah, right. That so that was the inducement. Get your vaccination, we'll send you an autographed picture of Elvis. All right. So you t so tell me this. How many how many kids do you think got that uh, shot? Oh, I don't know the number now. You know, I'm 94 years old now. <laughs> that was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yes, ma'am. That's about what? Six, a, six, real, a really large group of teenagers got their shots. I mean, we got the little ones. I uh, did all the kitty TV shows, and I had our doctors appearing on them. And then, then we went ahead to the adults, and we had the Bert and Harry, who used to do the Peel Peel's Beer commercials and I had UPA do a, a an animated strip for us and, and radio strips. I mean I, I really smattered the whole city of New York and I did a very good job if I may say so myself. Well hey I have to agree with you. I think you did because I'm calling you 66 years later and talking <laughs> about this. That, that's pretty incredible right? <laughs> okay. But I, I, I I was not in the photo. That was the thing I learned early on when you were in. I was hired as a health educator, but I slipped into the public relations office, and the PR person does not appear in the story or the pictures. They set up yes, the whole thing. Well, yeah. were, were you there? Were you at the studio? Of course I was there. Okay, as a so matter of fact, Elvis looked at me and said, is it going to hurt? I said, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> you assured him it wasn't going to hurt. All right. <laughs> so okay. So take me back. Okay. So you were there. That's awesome. You're behind the photo, the ph photographer, I assume. So 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 tell me about this. Like, do you remember anything about about this day? Anything that stands out to you? Uh, the only thing I remember, I have never seen so many representatives of media, newspapers, not only from all over the United States, but from all over the world, 
were crammed into the CBS studios that day. It was just unbelievable. And it's, it's a big blur right now. I just, uh, it, it was a lot of work. And my boss was wonderful because a couple of weeks later, she says, you know, you work so hard on it. Here's the key to my house up in Martha's Vineyard. Go take a week's vacation. Oh, that is Which awesome. Was, That's awesome. I thought was pretty nice. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, who is the doctor here in the shot that's giving him the shot? Uh... Um, what's his name again? With an F, I'd have to look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll make there, sure that that his name is on the. You on can the find film. that because he was listed in all the newspapers in New York. Right. See, so they, so I'm glad that I was able to clarify this because they try to say that this is you in the photo. I guess. No, you, no, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, you, the photo. He's getting the shot, and my boss, Leona. Baumgartner, the health commissioner, who's a physician also, okay. was in the picture. And that's her. That's that's Leona. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you know, I, I was I, I I learned a little bit about your story. I think I had read an article, and it seems like you were able to um, you talked your way, I guess, into the into the job. As kind of. I did. Tell, I tell did. me about that because you know. You, you, you I haven't stopped talking, by the way, because <laughs> after that, I got married, left the health department, and I've taken on many careers. I became a food writer for the El Paso Times for 25 years, then I was a travel writer, and I'm still writing some freelance stuff. Now I'm writing about solo travel. Okay. Uh, my husband died about a year ago, so uh, my big thing now is ageism, I think. It's too bad that the country does, a lot of the people in the country are impartial or not very nice to older people, so that's really? my newest thing. Well, how can how can fans uh, 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 read your articles? Is there any way we can just go on the El Paso Times, I guess? And Yeah, well, you can go online, you can read a certain number, I don't know how many, they, they were taken over by Gannett and USA Today, so... They may have a limit on how many you can read, but there's a lot of my stuff all over the internet. Okay, it's it's just about food and stuff and yeah. uh, <laughs> and travel. But are you still Anyhow, doing? Are you still I'm doing kidding. this? Are you still doing this, Miss Tabor? Are you still writing for the for the time? Uh, yeah, I just had an article in El Paso Inc., which is a weekly business journal here. Because I took a cruise by myself and everybody was amazed. And you're 94 and then you're traveling by yourself. You flew to Barcelona from El Paso and then you took a ship across the ocean. I said, yes, yes, yes. Hey, you got you got to continue to have fun, right, Miss Tabor? Well, if I can stand up each morning and get out of bed and clean my house and sit down to the computer... Why not? Yes, ma'am. I mean, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Life. That is life. Hey, and I'm I'm gonna make sure that the uh, people watching this show. I have over seventeen thousand subscribers, so um, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna make sure that it's interesting that you uh, uh, on the cruise that I was at. There was a lecture that they are giving talks and showing a film about Elvis, and apparently because the bulk of the population on the ship was between. I think 65 and 80, and many of them were interested both in Elvis and the Beatles, and uh, I stopped in for a few minutes to hear him talk about Elvis, but I had heard it all before, so. Yes, ma'am. I guess the popularity never stops. That's right, that's right, but I wish you would have uh, let them know about your story with Elvis, because that's important. You're, you're, a part, you're a part of this Elvis history, there's no doubt about it. Well, thank you. You're very kind. What did you say your name was? I didn't even bother to take it. I was sure you were selling me something. <laughs> yes, ma'am. My name is uh, Globe. Well, my name is Trey Miller. Trey Miller is my name, and my YouTube show is Globe Trotting with Trey, like the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh huh. And right. uh, I have a YouTube show, and it's Globe Trotting with Trey. If you like to look me up, it's Trey T R E Y. Yes, ma'am. T R E Y. Oh, okay. And uh, All right, it's been. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Miller. Well, you know, when I when I read your article, I was like, I've got to talk to you. I've got to talk to you, and I researched you. I found your phone number. Hey, and, and just like you did, I gave you a call. How about that? 
How about that? And you can, hey, you well, guys turn apart. Keep going, and, and as long as you're being nice to people, go ahead and do more of it. Well, well that's my plan. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm trying to capture Elvis Presley's real history and um, yeah. tell his real story. And I, I, I look for people like you that have a story with Elvis. And uh, yep. you have a good one, yes, ma'am. And I don't okay. think, and I really, I'll you let you. Do I? Huh? I'll, you I, too, Mister Miller. I, I just wanted to tell you, I don't think anybody else has ever done something like this. I don't think any celebrity has ever been as powerful as Elvis to um, persuade. Well, I don't know the figures on that, but I do know he has tremendous staying power. He does have tremendous staying power. All these years later. Okay. Well, hey, you thank you. Stay well. Thank you for talking to me. Okay, Trey. Bye bye. All right, bye. So, guys, how do you like that? Miss Tabor, she uh, took care of business, as Elvis would say. Called Colonel Parker because she had an idea, and that idea turned into these photos that you're watching now on screen, and that great story you just heard her tell us. And also, a lot of teenagers got a shot because Elvis Presley got his. So thanks for watching this episode of Globe Trotting with Trey. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, don't double dribble. Subscribe to me. It's free. It's free, guys. Videos, episodes like today, every Tuesday. And special ones here and there. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching. Miss Tabor, keep going on those cruises. I appreciate you.